In this video tutorial, I will guide you step by step how to install and run Talent Open Studio for Big Data and also to create projects and job inside Talent like this. I request you to see this video till the end. To run Talent Open Studio, you need three software. First is Talent Open Studio, second is 7-Zip and third one is Java. As Talent run on Java, so we need to also install the Java. So first let us download the Talent Open Studio. Go in the browser and just download for any of the platform you want. Either you want for Windows, either for Mac, just click here and download the Talent Open Studio. Secondly, you need to install 7-Zip. So 7-Zip is a great tool uh, which help you to extract the file in very detailed manner. And I prefer it over the WinRAR. So you can go to 7-Zip.org and you can download the exe file. So you can choose either for 32-bit or 64-bit. And the last one and not the least, you have to download the Java JDK. So to download it, you have to go on browser, just type Java JDK. And uh, like Java installation is very, very easy. So I will just give you step by step how to download it. So I prefer to go with Java version 11. So you can go to the JDK download and you don't have to worry about it. I will provide a download link on the video description. You can directly download it from here. So I'm just downloading for window installer this one. Fine. And let's see. So I have downloaded all the three files, you need to install the 7-zip. So installation is very easy. You need to just click on yes and click on install and the 7-zip will be installed in your PC. Secondly, like whenever you uh, download the talent open studio, that will be a zip file. So uh, like just right click on that and click on go to 7-zip and go there and click on extract file. So right now I have already extracted it. You can see here. And the third thing is you need to install the Java JDK. So simply you have to just double click on that, click on yes. Installation is also easy for Java. So it will ask you click on next. Okay. So if you want to change the location, you can. So right now I can see it's, uh, it will be installed in program files. Click on next. And approximately, approximately we are done with Java installation. and close it. Now there is one thing you need to set the path for the Java also in your environment variables in Windows. So for that first of all go to your PC, your C drive, go to your program files and search for Java here. Now click on JDK and again go to bin. So you need to set this path into your environment variables. So just copy this one and you can go to this PC, right click on that and go to properties. So you can come to this section using control panel also. Control panel, then go to system security and then go to system. Here uh, I'm going to advanced system setting. Here go to the environment variables. First go to the path. Go to the path in the system variables and click on add it. Put a new one. I have already put it in, but you can click a new one, you can paste it and that's it. Click on OK. Fine. On and on the above side, click on new. Type here as Java underscore home. And on the next line, just paste the whole path. Click on OK and make sure like you have correctly put the path in both the files. And in case you have made any mistakes, you will get errors. Click on OK. Just you can close it. Now it's time to run the talent. So go to your download section where you have extracted your file and go to this talent. And if you run it and if you got this particular box, so that's a great news. And you have successfully run all the things you have successfully installed all the things. Now it's time to 
run for talent accept the license and now it will ask you like uh, either you want to create a project either you want to import it so first time we are making uh, it's our first time to run the talent so i'm just making a project let's say test and click on finish so it will hardly take one or two minutes it's up to your uh, network performance it will download all the different dependencies from the internet so make sure you have a good internet with you so in this way we create a basic project so project is nothing like it's your work space where you do the work fine so all your progress all your things all your data will be saved into a particular project now once you download all the dependency all the dependencies are installed so the talent will start and it will launch a particular virtual machine a jvm in the background and so once it will be open we will show you how to create a job and how to run the things so right now you can see once we are inside it so let me maximize the window so just cross it and here in this section okay you will get an option of so it will show you the tour guide just click on next 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 or if you are new to it you can also read it out so first you need to create a job so i'm just telling you how to create a job you can go on job design right click on that and uh, like right now it's asking me for the dependencies so you can install it for your benefit so it's uh, like all the things are f only for the first time okay so i request like if you are running it for uh, for the first time so you can so go to your job design right click on that and click on create job so just give any name let's say this is our job number one okay purpose if you want to give it description if you want just give anything okay so i just click on finish and we want to make sure like all the things are working fine and we want to see the things so once we create a job so you will see on the middle so it's like basically a job design we say it so you will see we can give anything okay so you can just try uh, like click here and you can just type t message box so it is basically used to display the message and it's a basic component we have it is used to display the messages okay so you can see i have uh, installed it or i have taken it now it's time to run it make sure like we got a message or not so to run it you can click on this green icon or you can use a shortcut key that is called f6 so i'm just running it through this button and it will build a job and it will run a uh, run the task and it will show you the result so you can see right now it will show you a message that is called hello world that means we have successfully installed the talent and you can now start working on that and if you don't know what are the different things we have right now like what is repository what is like a uh, palette how to work with it so no issues we'll be like continuing with this video series and you can watch it later on and you have installed talent open studio and now it's working very fine i hope you have enjoyed the video and make sure you like and subscribe to, to our channel and if you face any issues in the install installation so put your queries in the comment i will be giving all the answer thank you have a great day